This is a piece of equipment that I don't really know what it is. I guess it's some sort of uh, calibration equipment or a signal strength meter. But uh, if you know, let me know and uh, I'll put uh, the answer in the comments box uh, for this video. But anyway, I just thought I'd uh, let you have a look around it. I uh, hope you find it interesting. Hi there, my name's Andy and if you've looked in before you'll know that I try and bring you something that uh, maybe you haven't seen before. And uh, this is something I've never seen before, in fact I don't know what it is. On the top here it's marked insert aerial and uh, on the front it says uh, test set type 201 and then that's serial number uh, 10s stroke 16002 and uh, it's air ministry and the serial number is uh, 468 so uh, I guess they didn't make many of them I'll just open it up it's uh, extremely robust it weighs about uh, 15 kilograms so 30 odd pounds and little mechanism there to hold hold that there and uh, when we open it up we've got uh, in the lid we've got some aerials and we've got some uh, data there it actually says uh, master calibration chart I'll just get a close up and uh, it gives um, let's change hands uh, there it's saying band one and it's going from 20 megacycles to 30 megacycles then band two uh, sorry, band two uh, 29 megacycles through to 42 megacycles band three 41 megacycles through to 62 and then band four uh, 60 meg through to 90 meg and um, so it's got a beautifully slow motion drive there lovely feel to that uh, lovely scale and then it's got a vernier here which I don't know if I'm catching that I'll get closer this vernier actually moves around there a very very nice uh, dial there uh, so here it's marked uh, noise and positions one to four obviously the vernier adjust noise uh, sorry RF and noise RF output mod on and off so presumably some sort of modulation tuning RF tuning uh, PRF I have no idea what that is but fine uh, XC check again not sure about that and uh, on and off meter with diode current uh, nothing to say if it's milliamps or microamps uh, diode FIL not sure what that is and uh, PI and then a socket for uh, 1000 cycles input there's a, a jack plug there obviously a red light there and uh, there's a set of three aerials in the lid and I'll just pull those out and they presumably fit in here and then they're, they're numbered on there so maybe that is to do with the bands one two and three etc and uh, they screw together sorry i'm probably getting an awful focus but the trouble with these modern cameras is you can't see the blessed things can you um, so there are the three so that's the three aerials there and uh, the top one's got no holes in it so it is uh, um, the final one 
Gosh, when the sun shines, it's a pain, isn't it, on these cameras? Okay, so we'll just pull that out. So what I'm going to do is open up and see what's inside. As I've uh, tipped the uh, box over so I can see in the top of the meter there, um, it says milliamps. And this is obviously a metal screen that's being put over to uh, protect the glass of the meter. Uh, it makes it, the meter difficult to read um, because you probably just see the, uh, the needle on zero down there. So you, you have to sort of move your head down. But uh, say so, so the, uh, the the diode current is in milliamps. It's probably what we'd expect. Right, I've got the unit out of the box. Uh, I had to unscrew that out of the top. Uh, let's see, hole over there that uh, that come through. Um, and uh, some nice features. Uh, you see this. Uh, let's get my focus this switch a uh, little rotary switch that I guess goes down through there into this uh, tuning mechanism uh, but uh, 45 degree bevel gear there uh, little Jones plug there with a spring on the top uh, to keep the two together um, as a, a crystal here, I'll get a close-up of that, it's got a date on it. I'll get a very close-up view. And the date there is December 1943. Uh, so 10 times uh, 2000 and a serial number. Okay, so um, capacitors. I'm not quite sure what this is. Probably a transformer of uh, sorry of some sort. Um, valves there. Uh, these red things, metal coated valves. So uh, a valve that's no longer there. V9. So oh, that's a transformer that's had a good old baking and the, uh, the wax has come out of it. Turning it over to look at the underside. And uh, gosh, there's some good old fashioned stuff in there. So we've got uh, uh, resistors, coils, um, I'm not sure what that is. Oh, it's a crystal unit. There it says. Um, so, uh, little capacitor, little beehive capacitor. I haven't talked about those yet. Um, and uh, another little Jones plug there, various capacitors. And uh, there's a capacitor that has died. And. Uh, this is an unusual device I have not seen before. It could be uh, an inductor. I'll get a close up of that. And it could be uh, some sort of inductor, uh, or it could even be a weird capacitor. I'm not sure if that wire carries on going all the way around. Um, a ceramic resistor presumably again from the 1940s uh, cool ohm k o l o h m uh, 10 watt 1000 ohms so i have no idea what it is obviously some sort of uh, test equipment maybe calibration see that's uh, that's been baked with. Uh, that's been baked so this resistor has uh, generated some heat at some stage.
This is a capacitor that uh, again it looks blown. Uh, this is uh, belled out at, uh, at each end and uh, say this capacitor you can see is uh, split. So all, all in all I think uh, that's a duff piece of equipment but it's got some nice components in there. The whole thing looks as though it's been silver flashed. Um, uh, so uh, it would have been a very expensive piece of equipment when it was made I'm sure. So if you know what that's all about I'd, I'd love to know. Hear, hear a bit about it. Um, this thing that I thought may have been an inductor, in fact when we turn it over the other side of that is here and uh, that's where it says it's Air Ministry and it says Chris, sorry I'm not getting it in shot, it uh, says Air Ministry yeah, the old AM uh, symbol and uh, crystal type and then it looks like uh, uh, 10XC stroke 2 but I could but I could be wrong uh, so I've never seen one of those before and it seems to be a, in a copper jacket that has been crimped on the end there yeah, I think the uh, most useful thing in here are probably the uh, uh, the capacitors, uh, the variable capacitors, and uh, I imagine there's quite a nice one uh, behind uh, this uh, slow motion tuning dial. Say, so, very very nice uh, mechanism there. Uh, it's Bakelite there, and um, I'm not sure what this material is. I think it's some sort of anodized aluminium but uh, very uh, very fine very nice and because the capacitor is buried in this box so I'm, I'm not going to take it apart any further look at this casting look at that look at the lovely casting there to carry the switch and the, the 90 degree mechanism don't get them in your iPod it's got some nice uh, ceramic valve bases and uh, there's a valve there all marked Air Ministry uh, These valves are held in with uh, a metal um, uh, nut or a, a loose show you on this one. That thing unscrews on this uh, thread down here and that holds them in. Um, not sure why this valve, the uh, 6X5G, hasn't got anything holding it in and it not sure if that ever had anything to hold the valve down, it might have. The other valves are held in with these clips that you have to depress both sides uh, before you can pull the valve out. Just looking at the back of the meter here, I'll just zoom in. So that's the back of the meter and if I turn the equipment over um, you can see uh, there where it says diode current and then uh, there's the the meter and you can see it's got the air ministry mark on it there uh, so that's a nice milliamp uh, meter I'm not going to take this uh, this uh, protective cover off but if I did it would uh, the meter would have the date on it uh, but I imagine that the date will be the same as uh, on the crystal if I could see it um, there as uh, uh, December 1943 so I bet if it could talk uh, this this little bit of equipment would have uh, quite a quite a story to tell wouldn't it 
Okay, I hope you found that interesting. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.